like a bug and give me back control of my military. Mr. Chairman, I need to make myself very clear. If we uplink now, Skynet will be in control of your military. But you'll be in control of Skynet, right? That is correct, sir. Hello, welcome to NeoScribe. Robots often get a bad rap in the public consciousness, with movies like The Terminator and the opinions of respected figures like Elon Musk and the late Stephen Hawking who have warned against the dangers of artificial intelligence. There's also the more immediate threat of AI and robots replacing jobs in the coming decades. While I'm not here today to refute these dangers, I want to highlight the benefits that robotics provides. Time and time again, society has turned to robots and unmanned vehicles to perform functions when too dangerous for humans to perform. In 1986, we turned to remote-controlled robots, albeit unsuccessfully, to assist with clearing radioactive material in Chernobyl. We again turned to robots to examine the radioactive nuclear fuel of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant after Japan's tsunami disaster. And today, we turn to robots on a scale never seen before to help with the global war against the coronavirus. In a crisis where people themselves are hazardous, robots become more useful and valued today than ever before. Meet the UVD robot developed by the Danish company of the same name. UVD stands for ultraviolet disinfection, and as the name suggests, the UVD robot plays a critical role in fighting the coronavirus by keeping services disinfected. The robot is Wi-Fi enabled and is directed to clean rooms by hospital staff via a mobile app. Microbiological laboratories have clinically tested and verified that the UVD robot kills 99.99% of bacteria. It does this by using a 360 degree array of powerful short wavelength ultraviolet sea lights that destroy the DNA or RNA of any microorganism that it hits. With a fully charged battery, it can run up to two and a half hours. That's long enough to disinfect 10 rooms and it takes six hours to charge back up. And as scientists diligently work on a vaccine, disinfecting robots like UVD are being deployed all around the world to keep surfaces sterile. UVD has shipped hundreds of robots to China, throughout Europe, and plans to ship hundreds to the United States. They are being deployed not only for hospitals, but also for public spaces such as airports, universities, and government buildings. And there are a handful of robotics companies working hard to keep up with demand for UVD robots. Another UVD robot manufacturer, Xenix, is also working hard to keep up with demand. Xanax is based out of San Antonio, Texas and manufactures the X5 light strike robot that has similar capabilities as the aforementioned Danish variety. Over 400 hospitals around the United States already have a Xanax disinfecting robot, and Xanax sales are up 600% from last year, having shipped hundreds to Italy and Japan on top of their domestic sales. In addition to disinfecting robots, we also turn to delivery robots to safely transport needed items such as food and medicine without human interaction. This is a self-driving robot manufactured by Starship Technologies. The company was launched in 2014 and is headquartered out of San Francisco. The robot is designed to carry packages, groceries, or food from partnering businesses directly to customers who place orders via a mobile app. Orders can be placed within a four mile radius and customers can monitor the robot's path and location from their smartphones. The contents are securely locked inside the robot until the recipient unlocks it upon delivery. The robot uses computer vision along with GPS to track its exact location to the nearest inch. Its optical detection system is equipped with 10 cameras, ultrasonic sensors, and neural networks that allow it to distinguish between objects such as pedestrians, cyclists, and dogs. Starship Technologies has robots operating in three major cities in the United States and also in the UK, Germany, and Estonia. The robots combined have traveled over 300,000 miles and made over 100,000 deliveries to date. Fairfax, Virginia has a fleet of 20 Starship robots that have been in service on the George Mason University campus since January 2019. Before the COVID crisis, the fleet was used to deliver food and snacks to students and faculty. 
But now the city has put the fleet to use so that restaurants can provide meals to customers without human contact in the fight against the outbreak. So far, five restaurants and a grocery store have started implementing Starship robots in their operations, with more on the way. Ryan Tui, who works in Starship's business development department, released a statement saying that the demand for contactless delivery has grown exponentially since the crisis. The company has recently added a grocery delivery service in Washington, D.C. and Irvine, California. Now we go to China to the startup Zen Robotics, which is rolling out their delivery robot called RoboPony. The RoboPony is like the Starship robot in a lot of ways, but it can carry a lot more weight with a limit of 90 pounds versus Starship's 20. Zen Robotics plans to produce 90 RoboPonies in the coming weeks. Sticking with China, we now go to Unity Drive Innovation, or UDI, that has developed this awesome looking delivery robot called Hercules. Hercules is essentially a fully autonomous electric van capable of delivering over 2,000 pounds of cargo. It is powered by an industrial grade computer that uses LIDARs, cameras, and deep learning algorithms so it can drive itself. UDI's fleet has made over 2,500 deliveries in three cities in China since February as the country fights against the spread of the virus. The United States has a similar vehicle being tested by the California-based startup NeuroAI. NeuroAI recently became the first American autonomous vehicle developer to be given exemptions for testing on public roads without the need to have controls for human operators. NeuroAI developed the R2, the fully autonomous delivery vehicle designed to deliver groceries. The R2 began testing back in February, and it has been approved by the Department of Transportation to have up to 5,000 in operation. Meanwhile, back at overburdened hospitals, a variety of robots are helping in a variety of ways. This is Moxie developed by Diligent Robotics based out of Austin, Texas. Moxie is a hospital robot assistant designed to aid nurses by performing supporting tasks such as gathering medical supplies and delivering them to patients' rooms, collecting fresh linens and removing old ones, and transporting patient lab samples. Diligent Robotics has been working with hospitals in Texas to identify the best way to use Moxie so that healthcare workers can stay as safe as possible. Then there's a robot called Tommy, which is one of six robots deployed to a hospital in Cercolo, Italy. These robots are helping by being placed in patients' rooms to monitor health conditions and relay patients' messages to nurses via touchscreen. And lastly, there's a quote-unquote ninja robots deployed in hospitals in Thailand, developed by the Regional Center of Robotics Technology at the Chulalongkorn University in Bangkok. These robots were designed to monitor recovering stroke patients but have been repurposed to measure patients' fevers and allows doctors and nurses to communicate with patients safely via video chat. These are just some examples of how robots are helping combat the global pandemic. Robots often get a bad rap in the public's consciousness, but they're always there when needed most. Alright, that's all I have for now. I'm a huge fan of robotics, so if you are aware of other examples of how robotics are helping with the coronavirus, I would love to hear about it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neil Scribe, and I'll see you on the next journey.